To make it easier to follow along with the lesson, please reset your user settings or make sure the mouse presets are on three button or regular mouse. If you do not know how to change the settings, please watch our UI video first. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the button tool inside Marvin's designer. The button tools are located in the toolbar of the 3D window. Choose the button tool from the drop-down menu. With the button tool selected, left-click on a pattern piece to place a button. And by using the Select Move button tool, you can move the button in the 2D or in the 3D window. When a button is selected, you can change the angle in the property editor. Thread lengths will change the distance between the button and the garment at where the button is attached. Setting the thread lengths to 5 will offset the button for 5mm. I'll change it back to 0 for a realistic result. The style drop-down menu will give you easy access to the style of buttons you have in the button window. You can also turn off collision if you do not want button mesh to collide with the garment. Enter 2D measurements to center. You can turn on the measurement display from the center of the button to the border edges of the patterns in the 2D window. To create a buttonhole, switch to the buttonhole tool and left click on a pattern. And with the buttonhole selected, you can change its property similar to the button. One of the button type is the eyelid button, and here's a trick when you need to use an eyelid button on a cutout hole. Press Add and add a new button style and choose one of the eyelid button. Switch to the button tool and place the button at the desired location. Using the internal ellipse tool, Create an internal ellipse from the center of the button while holding the control key. An internal ellipse is drawn from the center. Make the ellipse slightly smaller than the button. Switch to Edit Pattern tool. Right click and choose Cut and Sew. The reason why I can't make an actual cut is because in Marvel's Designer, a button must be placed onto a pattern. Go to the Fabric window and make a copy of the shirt fabric. Drag the fabric onto the cutout to assign it. In the property editor, change the opacity to 0 to create a transparent look. When you need to populate a row of buttons with equal distance, there are two tricks. Use the button tool and single click to place the first button. Copy and paste the button. Move your mouse cursor to where you want to place your second button and right click. A pop-up window appears and you can fine-tune the interval between the buttons and set the number of buttons you want to have. In this case, I have placed 6 buttons in a row with the interval of 89mm between them. To delete a button or buttonholes, use the Select Move button tool to select the buttons and hit Delete. You can also populate a row of buttons along an edge line or curve. With the button tool selected, right-click on an edge line. You can fine-tune the placement of the first button with the distance from the edge and the interval from the top. I will set the interval between buttons to 94mm with 6 buttons. Select the buttons, right-click and choose Duplicate as buttonhole to symmetric pattern to quickly populate buttonholes at the correct location. As you can see, I have placed the buttons on the wrong side of the pattern. We can quickly correct it by selecting the buttons, right-click, and choose Convert to Buttonholes. I will do the same for the buttonholes and convert them to buttons. To fasten the buttons, use the Fasten button tool. With the tool selected, drag a box around the buttons and click on the corresponding buttonhole. The arrows indicate the links. You can also use the Fasten button tool to unfasten buttons by clicking on the arrow or the button. Simulate to see the result. The button window allows you to edit existing buttons or add new style of buttons. Press Add to add a new button style. Under Shape drop-down menu, you can choose one of the existing style of button comes with Marvelous Designer. 
To assign the style, click and drag to the button in the 2D or 3D window. You can also apply to multiple buttons at the same time by selecting and click on the Assign key on the right of the button style. You can adjust the shape of the button by changing the width, thickness, and weight. Under Material, you can assign a texture map for base color, a normal map, displacement map, opacity map, or change the color. Under Type, you can choose a material preset. Here, I'll change the type to Plastic. You can also add a custom OBJ as button. Click on the plus button next to shape. In the pop-up window, you can name the button and press the plus sign to add a thumbnail image. Create a custom default setting for the button width, thickness, and weight and select your OBJ mesh file. Click OK to register it as a button. And similar to the button window, under buttonhole window, you can edit or add a buttonhole style, change the width of the buttonhole to match the button, and import a custom texture file as buttonhole. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on Marvelous Designer, check out our website, form, and official Discord channel in the link below.